Christmas coming home. It's Kaylee aka The Sophisticated Shopper and I'm back with yet another video which this is definitely <laughs> I know I keep saying in all of my past videos this is definitely the last video for 26 15 15 last video for 2015 not the first one for 2016 either um, so this will be the last of 2015 videos for you guys I know there's not such such a huge audience yet but I'm hoping that that may change fingers crossed. Um, if not, I'm doing this for my enjoyment anyway. So yes, so this one is actually going to be my what I got for Christmas haul. Um, I know that I love watching people's hauls for Christmas and seeing what everybody got because I'm kind of nosy like that. Um, and I also like to share with everybody else what I got as well, just in case it's something that you guys may like and probably or maybe will want to purchase yourself. I don't know. I just like to do these anyways. Anyways, so I did get quite a few awesome, awesome gifts and presents from my family and friends um, that I would love to share with you guys. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and start. So starting with the little, well, I don't want to say little things, but the things that are not really things to be opened during Christmas. I, I don't know. I got gift cards. So I got a Charming Charlie gift card, which was from my rabbit. Um, technically it's from my parents, but they bought it for my rabbit to give to me. Just, yeah. So it was super sweet of them and my rabbit. Um, and I got a awesome gift card for there and they know I just spend too much money there anyways. So yeah, that will be put to use. Also, they know that I spend a lot of money here as well, um, and they got me a cute little, I just love this little Happy Holidays thing. They got me a cute little H&M gift card, and what was even funnier is that my mom picked out an Elsa card. I think I just want to keep this card after it's done, just because it's adorable. And look at how Santa signs everything. Super cute. So, yes, these were the two gift cards that I got for Christmas. Yay! Gift cards are always fantastic. All right, so something else that I got that was in my stocking that is so, so cute that you guys probably saw in my, well, on the purse of my birthday haul. Um, and this is a little key fob that I actually use as a keychain for my purse just because it looks super cute on there. And it's a little bunny tail is what it looks like to me, but it's really just a big gray pom-pom. But it's so cute and these are so in right now. Um, and at Charming Charlie, I believe they were selling these for $10, and yeah, that's a lot of money to spend on these guys, but um, my mom found one of these for me instead, so I got a little gray one, and plus the ones from Charming Charlie were weird colors that I wouldn't put with a bag, so instead I got this cute little gray one to go on this gorgeous blue bag that I got for Christmas, so I'm going to put that back on there so you can kind of see what it does to make it look super cute. Ready? Ready? Oh. Well, if I get it, I'm having issues. Of course, there we go. So that's how it looks. It's super cute, and you can also put it on your keys. But it, I find whenever I put a keychain or a key fob on my keys, it starts to rust really easily. So I think I'm just gonna keep it on my purse since it's super cute on my purse. And my purse is falling. There we go. All right, moving on to the next items that I got. These are things that I actually got from my best friend who lives in LA. She is so sweet to send me Christmas packages every single year. And well, every year since she's left, otherwise we usually meet up and exchange gifts. And I've known her since kindergarten, so we both know each other so well. And should I say, she knows me way too well. So thank you in advance, Christina, for everything that you sent. First. She knows that I do my makeup sometimes at my desk. If not, I'm in the bathroom with my face pressed against the mirror doing my makeup. And it's kind of uncomfortable and weird to do that. So she got me a really cute mirror. It's white with little roses on it. Um, and it has a really cool stand that actually moves backwards and forwards. So you can hold it like this or you can prop it up like this. You can bend it back even more if you need to. And I don't want to blind you with it. So there it is, super cute. Ooh, great side chin. Um, but yeah, 
it's really neat and I love it and I've gotten so much use out of this already so thank you Christina you read my mind all the time something else she got me which is so cute I'm gonna take the things out of it um she got me a it's already dusty that's not good she got me a really cute little glass uh, cup that is actually has a little bit of a pink tint to it um, yeah it's a little bit pink um, and it has little hearts and little etchings on it and this is so Victorian and so French which is probably the reason why she got it because she knows me so well and it's super cute I think her idea was for me to either put jewelry in it or makeup brushes which I've been keeping my brushes in it because it's the perfect height for them um, so I just keep the things that I use every single day in here just to point some out like my blush brush my all-over face brush um, my lip gloss eye eyebrow gel and my cello highlighter pencil so those are the things that I use every single day or have been using every single day and it's really easy just to grab from it and go um, and so I keep this on my desk since my desk is pretty much where my makeup is and where I do my makeup so thank you for Christina that was super cute and super thoughtful something else she pays attention so well to everything that I say because I, I talk a lot to her and I talk a lot to you guys too so she catches every little thing I say in my conversations and she remembers them for like a long time until it comes to a part of time where you forget what you were saying and she just sends you something and goes oh you talked about this eight nine ten months ago ago excuse me I had an accent there for a second um about ten months ago and she's like and I knew you wanted these so here I can't even remember the last time I spoke to her about something and then she just remembers so you're awesome Christina you are um, and I think the same applies for me. I remember things she said forever ago, but I can't remember anything that I've said, so it's weird. But she remembers everything that I say, because I was telling her so much about how I love the whole idea of using cool powder puffs um, for your face. And I was just like, it's so Victorian and so French and I love it. And I was just kind of like ranting to her about how it's stupid that we use sponges and stuff even though I love using sponges for my face but I was telling her just how weird it is how times have changed and how cute it is for people to use powder puffs and stuff she went out of her way to get me powder puffs and they're so stinking cute I just can't so she got me these little and I'll, I'll tell you guys more about these so these are the cute little powder puffs that she got me. She got me little white ones, little pink bows, which make me think of French Victorian stuff oh, so much. And I just love it so much. That was a weird face that I just made, but it's okay. Um, but they show that you can use these for blush, which I'm thinking about doing it with these guys, but I'm not sure. I did use one of these today for setting my under eye with my... Um, translucent powder that that's what it is and this stuff is amazing like these guys get that translucent powder on so well and it just it doesn't make it look cakey like regular sponges do so I think this is my new favorite thing I'm definitely going to be using this to powder my face from now on she also sent me some much bigger ones she sent me one with a cute little band like a little silk band which I love too because that's super cute and just adorable and then she also got me which is it's a cotton puff glove type so you put your fingers inside this little part and pat 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 with it and these are super cute oh they're from Daiso that's awesome I, I want to go to Daiso so bad but since she lives in LA she has one there and since I live in Arizona we don't have one so thank you so much Christina you I don't know how you remember conversations that we've had forever ago but you're amazing Something else that she sent me was, oh my gosh, so she just got a job at Lush, which, girl, you know that's dangerous for both of us. So she got me something called Fairy Dust, and I don't usually go to Lush most, that often, and if I do, it's with a friend, and I don't purchase anything. But she got me Fairy Dust because she knows I can't use a lot of bath products, and this stuff is sparkling dusting powder, and it says... All you need is luster trust and a sparkling sweet fairy dust for light magical skin um, and it is limited edition which is stinking cool and 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's this smell like? Did it say? Well, I think it was cotton candy is what this says it is. It smells like cotton candy, like strawberry cotton candy. I'm gonna open this. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's definitely like a strawberry cotton candy. And I popped this the day that I got this and it just went all over my face. But my face was really sparkly and pretty then. I'm not, sh I'm not sure exactly how you use this stuff, but I'm gonna find out. And if I look super sparkly on one day, y'all will know. Ooh, and I just got that off, okay. It smells really good though. And I told her I only like fruity, fruity scents and she knows me from previous ideas. She just, she just knows. Oh, cool, okay. I'm gonna try this on camera then. I think, are you supposed to dust it all over your body or are you just supposed to rub it in? I'm confused. Ooh, it has sparkles. I'm just gonna rub it. Mmm. Mmm. It smells like cream with strawberries. It smells so good. Okay. I love this. Now when I need a little bit of sparkle, I'm gonna use this stuff up. Thank you. Something else that she got me too because she knows I was complaining to her the other day about how I don't have any travel like containers to put foundation liquid foundation and like stuff in without taking the entire tube with me and like translucent powders and like loose blushes with me without taking a whole bunch of stuff so she got me these adorable little crystallized looking um travel cases for things I mean even if you had um contacts I'm sure you could put contacts in here too but I don't have contacts so I figured she figured these well I'm sure she figured these would be perfect but these are just like super cute and they'd be great for any loose product or even cream product just to squeeze in there and use for traveling like I think if I were to bring this stuff with me I'd probably use it for my foundation just because I know I don't want to take that huge tube with me well it's not that big but I don't want to take the tube with me and then have to worry about losing it or leaving it somewhere. So this is a great way of using these little guys and actually lessening the amount of space I'm using in my travel bag. So thank you, Christina. Super thoughtful. All right. I'm going to put all these little goodies back in the bag. I just can't get over these powder puffs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This girl, it's just, she spoils me all the time. Oh, one more thing she got me. I gotta open the giant chest of lipsticks and glosses. Um, 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 um. Where are you? There you are. She also got me, because she knew I already had one of the lippy sticks. She got me another one, and this is in the most interesting but cool color. And this one is in power, and it is so pretty. It's like a pinky purple color, and I'm gonna swatch it. Oh my god. Okay, so it's like a purpley brown ish, but it's so pretty, so sheeny, shiny, and I love it so much. And you can only get these online, so she she's just thinking way ahead. So thank you, Christina. I, I really, really love it. And I also just love the wicked lippy line now too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, gotta shut that drawer. Moving on. So, moving on to the things that I actually got from my family, um, and just to show the first few big items, um, my parents know how much I love, like, ponchos and capes for the winter time, so my parents, well, my mom and dad picked this guy up from Charming Charlie. It is a houndstooth, which is my favorite, favorite pattern ever. Um, it's a houndstooth, um, little cape, or... I don't know what you call these. I think it's like cape. What's, what is this called? What are you called? Tell me. It's not saying what it's called. No. No, it doesn't say. But what's neat is it's actually reversible. So if I wanted to, I could cut this tag out. Or, yeah, I'd have to cut this out. And it's black on the inside and houndstooth on the outside. So I can have it either way, but I love the houndstooth because it also matches my Michael Kors houndstooth bag. So, yes. 
and it's really long, really cute, and it also has little fringes at the bottom. So I love it, and it's so soft, so, so soft. And what's funny is I actually bought my mom one of these for her Christmas gift as well, um, but it's just gray with black interior, and it doesn't have little, little diddlies on the side. And of course, the light goes out again. Um, all right, moving on. And I'm warning you guys, this is probably gonna be another long video like usual which is one of my resolutions for the next year, try to cut down on video time. All right, so this one is a, I gotta brighten this stuff up, there we go. This is another cape, well this is actually a cape that my brother got me, and it's one that I've been wanting so bad but could not find in any of the H&Ms, but he miraculously found this along with the earrings that I was wanting for my birthday, and he found them both at the same H&M that was far, far away, and he got them for me, so, this is a really pretty blue tartan cape um, with a really pretty gold clasp at the neck area. But what's neat is this cape isn't just like a normal just throw on cape. It has armholes, which is super great. So it's really great at kind of making sure that it doesn't go everywhere and that your arms are also covered at all times, but you're able to move. So it's super pretty, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue coloring. And I've worn it twice already. I wore it on Christmas and I wore it sometime after that as well. And it matches my boots too, so yay! And what's nice is it's one size fits all. So if I decide that my New Year's resolution is going to be lose to lose weight um, and become my old size again, then it'll still fit and work with me. Same with the cute little one that my parents got. So hey, that's always a win-win. All right, but that's just a resolution that probably won't happen like it hasn't happened the last few years, so I don't know. It may or may not happen. I don't know. If I, I figure if I'm happy, what the heck. So let's see. Let's start with you guys. These are all things that I got from my parents, and they knew that, well, they know that I'm pretty old-fashioned, and I like to have CDs to drive in the car with. Um, I also have an auxiliary cord so I can listen to my phone or my iPod when I'm driving, but I really prefer CDs for some reason. And they got me the Josh Groban Stages CD, which this is amazing. I didn't really listen to it before getting the CD and I already loved Josh Groban. So my parents were like, oh, hey, look, new CD, let's get it for her. So they did, and it is such a great CD, and I, I love Broadway musicals, anything to do with Broadway, all Broadway shows, love them, and he covered so many of the Broadway songs that I love, so I just, I love it. Um, and then they also, oh my god, I was so excited when I got this, I was so excited, they got me the Target exclusive special edition Adele 25 album. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hello, it's me. That's what I thought when I saw this, but you know. So here is her beautiful face. Adele's looking so fine on there. And then this one has a really cool interior. It has her singing in the studio on there. It also has a really cool, if I can get it out, really cool booklet with her face on it as well. And if you flip through the book, it's got different pictures of her in the studio in sepia, black and white, in color. Kind of flipping through. It's super cool to see her actually being so emotional in her singing in the studio. Like, there's one of her crying as she's singing, and it's just amazing. Just shows how much she puts into her albums and to her songs. And then this is the CD. And here it is, the 25 CD, super cool. And what's neat too about getting CDs, or well, at least this one, this one was super cool to where it has three additional songs that other people cannot get um, unless they buy it from Target. So it has um, Can't Let It Go, Lay Me Down, and Why Do You Love Me. Um, so those are the three additional songs, and I'm super excited, loving this album. And it looks like we kind of have matching eyes. Maybe, maybe not, but I love it nonetheless. And it's super cool to get CDs as well because then you can also put them into your computer, download all the songs for your iTunes, and then put them on your phone. So, win-win. So moving on to some other awesome items that I got. <clears throat> moving on, let's see. So my parents know how much I love animals and nature and pretty much anything to do with all of the above. 
And so they got me this duo pack of, of uh, DVDs from BBC Earth. And is this? Yep, BBC Earth. Um, this one is Life, and it's a four disc set, which is super cool. They had this on Netflix, and I haven't seen it yet, and it's a good thing I haven't. And then I also got Frozen Planet, um, which is so exciting because my favorite type of whales that I love, um, such as belugas, well, those are my favorites. Those are typically found in the Arctic, so um, this is one I really want to watch just for like the whales, the um, different um, penguins, the different owls, the different all sorts of awesome creatures that live in there, um, the seals, all sorts of things, you know. And then the life one, let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I don't know. It doesn't really explain things about it much. But that's what they are. And I'm so excited because on this one, there's over 90 minutes of extra footage. Um, and then this one has a four just set. So I'm going to say each one's at least two hours. Let's see. Holy cow. So for all four DVDs, there's 586 minutes in the one disc or the one package. And then the other one is 350 minutes of watching. And there's three DVDs in this one. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Um, and for the animal nerd in myself, this is so exciting. So thank you parents mom dad and then they also got me some awesome awesome movies as well and shows so they surprised me because i was so upset after black friday shopping that i could not find disney's aladdin in blu-ray for the seven dollars that they had it for well my parents well my brother and my dad went to another walmart and actually found one and told me they didn't find one but they gave it to me for christmas so i got aladdin on blu-ray which this is technically not just for me, it's also for my one rabbit who loves to watch Disney movies. I don't know why, he just likes to sit in front of the TV and watch very colorful, very music enthused, I don't know, he just loves Disney movies. So we got Aladdin because we figured he would like it and I also love it. Um, and what's neat is, let's see, oh it also has never before seen Genie outtakes. And it also comes on digital HD as well. So I also will get the digital download to take with me as well. Um, so I can have it on the go on my iPad or something. So awesome. I also got two of my favorite, favorite TV shows. Well, my one favorite show, two different discs. I got two I Love Lucy um, seasons. I think they're seasons. The complete, this one is the complete third season. I have, I believe, the first or the second season, whatever the one is with the Vita Vita Benjamin commercial. That one is one of my favorites. I also got this one as well because this is, I don't know, I just, I got this from my parents and they know how much I love I Love Lucy. Uh, let's see, 31 episodes. Wow. I'm just so excited. Oh, this, this is the knife one. Okay, this is great. Cool, cool, cool. Then they also got me the Christmas special, which I've not been able to find anywhere. And I tried to get it last year, and they didn't have it. So, ugh. but this one is in colorized. It's colorized. It's not in black and white. And I've seen this one so many times. Um, and this one has, let's see, it has three episodes in black and white and in color. And it's the Christmas episode, the grape stomping episode that's in Italy, which I guess is the same episode and um, where she decided that she was going to be an actress, um, or the Italian movie, that's what it is. The Christmas Show, the Italian movie, and Lucy Goes to Scotland. Those are the three episodes. So I love, I've, I've seen the Christmas Show and the Lucy's Italian movie, and I love those episodes to death. They're, they're like classics. And then I've never seen the Lucy Goes to Scotland, so super, super excited, and I just, I can't wait to take these with me um, when I move so I can just laugh at Lucy all the time. So I love it, love it, love it. Something else that they got me, which really confused me at first, was this HDMI cable that was in my stocking. And I first took it out and I was like, hey, a cable. Thanks, guys. But then I opened up, they 
they stopped me from opening anything else in my stocking and they made me open this. Ta-da! So this is a Sony Wi-Fi streaming Blu-ray disc slash DVD player. Um, it also has PlayStation Now game streaming, which is so cool because when I move, I know I'm not going to have, well, I didn't think it was going to have a DVD player to play any of my movies with. And I didn't think that I would have anything to watch Blu-ray or Netflix on because I didn't want to buy a DVD player and then a Blu-ray player. So they instead got me this guy right here, which has Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, Hulu, which I have Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, and YouTube. And then they have PlayStation Video and PlayStation Now, which is awesome too, because my brother also has those. So I could always communicate and play with him on there. And then um, they also have a wireless landline built in it, which is so great because I don't know if I'm gonna have Wi-Fi in my place. So I love this, so excited. And I didn't have anything to play Blu-rays before, not even at my house, except for my brother's game systems and the front Blu-ray player, which I never get to. So super excited to actually be able to watch my Blu-rays now and to have this for whenever I move. All right. Let's see. Moving on, my parents got me some cool gummies in my stocking and other candies, which I'm not going to show you guys because that's a little bit boring to show. Oh, I got hair on my lip. Um, so this one is also something that I got in my stocking from my parents because they know I wanted this last year, but I wasn't able to get my hands on it while I was working there. Um, and this is the Twisted Peppermint Holiday Tradition Sparkling Snowflake Scrub, and it actually has sparkles in it and it smells amazing. Mmm, yeah, so good. So I, I don't have any sugar scrubs for in the um, shower. I just have like a lip sugar scrub that smells very similar to this from Lush. So I'm excited to have one for my body, for body exfoliating. So, and it sparkles too. So that's like a win-win. Okay, these ones are pretty exciting too. These were also, were they? Yeah, these were in my stocking as well. And, oh my goodness, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, I got socks, which I'm always down for cool pattern socks. But when I looked at what was on these socks, I about died. Oh my gosh. So my parents know my two favorite land mammals for the exception of a horse are the ring-tailed lemur and a three-toed sloth. And I don't know where or how they found these, but ring-tailed lemur socks, three-toed sloth socks, wearing Christmas hats. I just, I can't handle the cuteness. I really can't. I'm afraid to wear these because I don't want to get holes in them. Oh, I just don't. I just want these forever and ever and ever. And I asked them, I'm like, can I go back and buy more pairs of these just in case they die and I can get more? And they thought it was weird and said no. So I didn't get to, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna be super careful with wearing these. I think these ones, since they match my work shirt for the zoo, I'm gonna wear these to the zoo and probably these too, but um, I may also wear these to my workplace since my workplace is pretty much the same coloring like this and like this. So I get to wear these. Oh my god, they're so stinking cute. Okay. Okay. Um, the next items are actually makeup items. And I think I'm going to need to exchange these guys based on their coloring just because the color is a bit... Uh oh a bit much. Um, but I was excited because every time I go to a store in Ulta, I can never find these, any of these. And they're always out of stock or just, uh, you know, crazy. So these are the Salvation, in Sal yeah, Salvation Intense Lip Lacquers from Revolution Makeup, well, Makeup Revolution in London. And this one is nothing like anything and didn't I tell you. The only one that I'm kind of like eh, for the coloring is didn't I tell you. It's a little bit too bright for me. 
um, but the Nothing Like Anything is really cool. Um, but they are really cool formulas, so I think I'm just going to exchange this one for a different color. The um, Didn't I Tell You, but everything else about these guys is amazing, and I love them so much. Something else that they got me was something I had on my little wish list from Ulta, and this was the Love Me Do Lip Crayon by Laura Geller, and I love this as well. It smells really good like vanilla, but I didn't realize that this was such a bright, bright, bright pink. So I'm actually going to take it back for a purple currant or currant one that they have that they say is not nearly as bright and crazy, and it's more of a um, berry toned. So I think I'm going to exchange that for a berry toned one instead of a pink. And it, these were all my mistake because I put down the colors and haven't even tried them yet. So my mom's all cool about it. She's like, just get what you need and want. Um, so I'm just going to exchange colors though because I really want these items. So I'm so excited to get the colors that I like. So my brother also got me a makeup item and I'm so surprised he found this. This is the W7 in the Buff Lightly Toasted. Um, this is the Natural Nudes one. And these are usually only available either in England, I believe, or in, or, um, excuse me, online on Amazon and other places like that. So he found this in store somewhere. I think it was at like a bargain store here, like a, kind of like a TJ Maxx or like a Beals. And I was so excited because people say that this lightly, or in the buff, lightly toasted natural nudes was very much like the naked one or just naked palette. And I didn't want to buy it for 50 something bucks, the Naked palette, and these are like seven, I believe, each. So he got this for me so I could try it out and see if it's actually a dupe, which it's hard to do without having the other palette. But I personally think I like these colors better than they have in the Naked palette. So these are the colors. They have some rosy colors and then some more neutral colors. And they also have some great darker browns and reds and grays and blacks. So it's pretty much got everything in here. And thankfully, most of these are for cool toned people. So they're perfect for me. And it's a really, really nice kit being in a really nice metal container. And also this is like really squishy pleather. I don't know, it's, it's really neat. And it also comes with a double ender brush, which I've gotten a lot of use of already. Um, so the colors that they come in are Teddy Bear, Wonderland, Cracker, Happy, Lady Lock, Twister, Dee Dee, Delilah, Magic, It's a Dream, Up in Smoke, and Dawn. So lots of lots of cool color combinations that I can do with this. They have different kinds of the W7 lightly, t well, in the buff palettes. So I think I'm going to try more of them after trying this one. So thank you to my brother. I love it. And then my brother, or my brother, my parents floored me when I got this. This was just on my wish list at Ulta just because it was on sale one weekend. I'm just like, hey, hint, hint, look at this cool palette. And my mom's just like, and you have enough makeup? I'm not buying you makeup. But then she surprised me and got me this beauty. So this is the Tarte Showstopper palette. I get it's not a brand new palette, but I love it nonetheless. So this is it, Show Showstopper palette. Um, it's the clay palette, or a clay palette, and the box is super cool. It's like all snakeskinny. I think that's what you call it. It's like snakeskin. And you open it up, and it's even prettier. And it's got that snakeskin, leathery feel to it. It's nice and round. It's pretty big, excuse me, pretty big palette. And it's got a nice mirror. And, oh my god, I've used this already. This is what I... No. Okay, I thought I chipped it. I was gonna say, oh no. But this is a really, really nice palette that I've already used quite a bit. Um, it's what I have on my eyes today. There. I even have the highlighter as my under brow highlight today as well, and it's a really great palette. Not used the blush yet, but I love Tarte blushes, so I'm sure I'm going to love it. Um, and here, I'll take the little film off so you can see. Um, the It also comes with, oh yeah, that's what it is, Park Avenue Princess, which is their top-selling bronzer, which I've not yet tried. It is nice how it isn't a orange tone bronzer, and it's instead of gray toned, which will be great for my complexion. And the highlighter is just perfect. That one is called Champagne Pink. 
And the blush inside is called Fame, which I've never seen that color before. So I'm super excited. And the other colors were Showper, Showstopper Copper, Go for the Gold, You're a Natural, Steal the Scene, uh, Roast the Top, Dim the Lights. Yeah, Dim the Lights. Yeah. And they are gorgeous. I don't see how some of them are copper and stuff, but hey, they work. And I just love this palette more than, almost more than life itself. So I'm so excited. And this is one of the first big things that I've owned from Tarte, first palette from Tarte. So I love it so, so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the family for this. Well, to Santa. Thank you, Santa. I think. Oh, and then I also have my samples in there too, which is really nice that they my mom's smart she's like I know how to get samples so I got you samples I'm like thank you mom so yes um oh last thing and the most shocking thing that I got not that I didn't think anything else was shocking or anything but this I was not expecting at all so if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys will see or will have seen that I received the Disney Princess shoes from my parents just on a whim, just as a cute little, here you go, we knew you wanted these kind of gift. And um, I love them so much, but they were not my first choice. My first choice was actually to get the Disney villain shoes, which sold out so quickly, even quicker than the princess shoes. And... They came back out with the villain shoes, surprisingly, like a month or two ago. But then I couldn't get my hands on them at all. And I was so, so sad about that. But turns out the reason why I couldn't get my hands on the ones that I thought were in stock at a store is because my mom got her hands on them. Which I just, oh my god, I just can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look at these. These would be my Disney villain shoes. How do they look? Beautiful, huh? And what's really neat is the lady that I usually talk to at the vans by my house. Um, she said that they're all different cuts of fabric. So the, the main villains on the shoe will either be misplaced places or they won't be like, I don't want to say leveled, but straight in line with the shoe some of them will be cut off and you don't know what villains are going to be right in the front but thankfully my parents got a pair, a pair excuse me a pair of them like straight up right up there so we have ursula we have the evil queen from snow white we have maleficent we have cruella de vil and i think those are the ladies that are on here yep those are the ladies and i just love it so much it fits my personality a little too much, but I'm excited to have the princess ones as well, but I do wear a lot of black, so these will go so well with all of my black clothing. I'm going to treat these so well. I'm going to spray these with the special band spray that they have, just to make sure that these guys are not going to die on me. So thank you to my parents so, 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 so much. <sighs> all right. I gotta wrap these babies up. Not to mention this bag or the boxes for the Disney bands are so stinking cute. So stinking cute. So thank you, thank you, thank you not only to everybody that has gifted me these wonderful items, whether it be my friends, my best friends, um, my family, or everybody else that gifts me everything in life. Um, but also thank you to you guys for watching this video and all of the videos um, that I've put up this year and last year as well too. And it just got dark again. That's my life. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting me this entire year of 2015. Um, I totally love and I just love you guys. And I am so thankful for everybody that has read my blog the past few years and has 
been a part of my life, not only in person, but also through YouTube and my blog and Twitter and all those other places. And I could not have had a better year without you guys. So thank you guys for everything that you do for me and that um, your support is always, always appreciated and always, I always just want to give my best to you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I promise for 2016 I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier for the both of us and try to do more videos, more blogs, and to be more connected with you guys. Just because I feel like you guys deserve it for being such awesome people and for being you. So thank you again for everything this year and for watching this video. And I hope you guys have an amazing, an amazing uh, new year and I will see you all in the brand new year. Bye guys.